My favorite brawler is Hank or the fish. Something smells fishy. In this video, I'm gonna be playing Hank only in Power League. Game number one, things were looking promising. We got a great map for Hank, a decent draft, and had a really solid start going up 1-0 early on. Everything was going pretty good until Sandy got his first super. Sandy's a really annoying matchup for Hank to play into because you have no idea where to shoot or what to do once he starts chaining supers. In other matchups, I don't really mind trading HP for position, but into Sandy, I'll play it more slowly just to avoid feeding super. Unfortunately, game two, Willow forgot who was playing Brawl Stars and we had a really shaky start. I I don't want to feed Sandy because you can see what happens if they get Sandy super. So I think Sandy's pretty decent into the Hank, but I feel like we had position our Willow's kind of losing lane somehow to a buzz which i don't really understand but we're gonna chunk the sandy out hope to get some control back here after conceding the first goal we managed to make a nice play and get a pretty clean goal back once overtime hits i knew we'd lose unless the b was tapping unfortunately for us the b was not tapping and uh we did lose the game rough first game not the best hang matchups like i said but it was definitely winnable after the first game, we get banned out by Bobby. Then I queue again, and I get target banned again. I managed to finally get the fish on safe zone and get dodged. Then I managed to get on it on gold arm gulch, and someone on the other team instant dodges. Next game, target banned again. Is it really this hard for me to just play some fish? Finally, get it on layer bake, and things are starting to look up. Oh my goodness, I can't believe it's real. I've been trying to play with this roller for the past 45 minutes, and Everyone has just been perma banning it when they see my name. It's actually like, it's very flattering, but like, guys, it's like the fish at the end of the day. It's not like a prime Rosa or something here, you know? I get a clean double kill, start the game off, but my teammates wanted to play from inside our spawn and start shooting me when the game is tied four to four, when I have half of our kills. And then the Brock proceeds to not play the game and then AFK the entire game too because he's come to the realization that he'll be stuck in Mythic 2 for the remainder of his Brawl Stars career. Like, these guys are just standing in the back of the map though, like, how am I supposed to push up when nobody's pushing up? Like, the Brock's not even landing anyone, he's in the spawn. Like, gadget him or something, Brock. Please, what are you doing? I don't think the Brock's going to super. We need to push up though, guys. Why are we so far back? Like, why are we in the spawn the entire game, guys? I'm so positive the Brock did not get a kill that game. Ah, I got one, actually, with his gadget. I, like, he's so passive, bro. They're both, like, literally where we spawn in. I don't get it. Luckily, we still managed to put up somewhat of a fight, since I was used to him not playing after the first game, but we are going to lose that game as well. Honestly, it doesn't change anything. He was there last game, too. He was there the entire time last game. I can't go down here, but I kind of have to. Bro, like, where- do I have a team? I'm so confused. Queue up, and then I get dodged on Kaboom Canyon. Then against all odds, we finally didn't get banned out or dodged. We did have a buster first pick, but the fish has won under much worse circumstances before, so there's still hope. Severely out comped, terrible fish and buster map. All we had was our mental and our terrible thump. If we ever get position, it's definitely winnable. We have a very suppressive comp if we can get up high against their top walls. I think I can keep going here though. Yeah, we can catch a squeak. All right, I'm getting slimy on the fish. All right, we got position though. This is so good where we are right now. We managed to make some plays at the start of the game and get control for a short while. This game was going much better than I expected. Even after we lost control, I one-shot the Daryl and managed to hold control with Tara. As you can see, I popped the shield gadget and then I'm going to do... Oh, my pick bubble didn't go off. And that way I can get like a full damage from him. But I can't get knocked back there, otherwise I lose the interaction. Daryl's too scared to go for it, I understand. Alright, we got the kill. It's all good, Tara. If I can get the fake bubble going here, yeah, I'll scare them and I'll regen for a sec. Like he's scared of it, he thinks it's real. I'm doing the fake bubble strat right now, and I'm getting in their heads. They don't know what to do. Their entire map's just covered by bubbles. 
Despite being slowed for five seconds straight, Tara saw the vision and we made a clean play to secure a goal with time running out. Me. Did we score? Nice. Oh my god, because I can't throw the ball because of the fish. There's nowhere for me to bounce it off of. Alright, we're making magic happen this game. All that's left to do at this point is to defend and try to farm and save the KD. Alright, clean, just the B, go to defend. Save the KD, save the KD. Nice! Alright! It has been so stressful getting to this point, guys. Like, I'm so happy right now. My heart's fluttering. I've never tried making a brawler only video for so long with such little success. It's been like an hour and a half. Game two, we have a much worse start. Buster forgets he's a buster and just runs up and dies instantly. They get a really quick goal and I can just see our mental deteriorating. No, it's just out of range. Oh, they're gonna score. Does Buster have gadget? Trapped in spawn, I run down the squeak and we managed to get out. A little more than a minute left and we need to make the play happen. Buster <laughs> continues to walk in a straight line. However, they've learned his strategy and he's dying every 20 seconds. I gotta be a little careful here. I don't trust, the Daryl can score, right? So I came back because of that. Nice, good thing I came back, honestly. The Buster is not very much of an objective player. Bro, why are they just standing behind the net? Like, you guys understand we're losing, right? We need to push up, like, just let them end right now then if that's the case, like, my goodness. Like, they're just standing behind the net, bro. Push up. Game 2 is one to be forgotten. I try to switch lanes with Buster for Game 3, but he just sits there looking confused. Proceeds to walk in a straight line, not shooting anyone when we have a free kill, and I manage to kill the Squeak and stay alive. We're slowly getting control back, and Tar hits a clean pull. Buster goes for a goal, but misses. But he lines them all up for me. They're all panicking about the goal, and I get a triple bubble, and then we clean them up and we managed to secure the first win of the night, Legacy Fish Game. It's literally art, guys. Bring it home, bring it home. Good pull, Tara. This Buster is not a real person, like I'm so sure. If you guys have made it this far, please consider liking, subscribing, and commenting on the video. It would help my channel out a lot. And if you want to go the extra mile, if you do spend any money in any Supercell games, use code OG to support me. Thank you guys so much. Game 3, I'm back with the Buster again, and Fenson is on the other team. I was a little worried he'd ban the fish after that stellar fish performance, but it managed to slip through the ban, so things are looking good for us. Once again, we are heavily outcomped. The Jackie refuses to play a lane and gadgets up mid continuously. Borderline looks like win trading, it's a really rough start to the first game. They have what looks like a free goal until I one shot the Primo. The Jackie is just giving them infinite supers though, and this game feels so unwinnable. This Jackie is actually a psychopath. At this point, I'm pretty sure he's never played the game before. All right, they're all out of gadgets. Low key, like kind of winnable. I still have two shields, which is really nice. Make that one shield. Why does he keep coming on my side? Like, this Jackie can't be a real person. I'm sorry. Oh my god, bro, he's trolling me. Look, what side do you want, bro? You're just running through mid, like... I thought he was bad at Buster, like, then I see the Jackie. Actually, crazy. Game 2 is slightly better, we get some position on my side of the map, and I get a few kills, but the Jackie is still all over the place. Somehow we defend, but then the Jackie gets a goal out of nowhere, and then another. He's the best player I've ever seen in my life, bro. I don't know what he did respect so go over on that side bro wherever you want you want to go mid jackie fine go mid just get me some more of those goals bro ah, no <laughs> this, guy's, this guy's so good bro i don't even know what he did if he didn't go jackie mid the next game i would have reported him for a counter because he looks like a completely different player like this is not the same jackie that i played like the first game and a half with I have no idea what happened to him, but he suddenly turned into the best raw ball player I've seen in my life. There. Oh, that's a real bubble. Oh, bro! I love this guy! I never doubted him. He's actually like... Ronaldo on the Jackie. Look at him! He has one thing on his mind to score! Oh my... Bro! No, he's actually the best player I've ever seen. I can't believe he- Yo, run it down, brother. 
What an absolute legend. I queue up once again after securing the fish, I have been dodged. Insta queue, get a first pick Carl. Severely out comped once again at this point. It's a decent map. Not a lot we can do into their comp. After some of the worst Carl gameplay I've ever seen, followed by like some even worse goal scoring. That Unfortunately, we had a Carl first pick, and it appears that he's pretty terrible at the Carl. Oh my god. Please! No! He missed! No! Bro, he's so terrible! I cannot believe my eyes. You had one job, Nico. I I was part of the problem for that one. Not gonna... You know, I gotta take some of that blame. But we do lose the Brawl Ball match. <laughs> but I am determined to end on a win, so I'm gonna queue up one more time. Alright, we get out in the open. I've never played Hank here in my life. But I've won on the fish in pretty much every map in the game, so it's definitely doable. Severely out comped once again, I'm starting to think it's impossible to have comp with Hank. We get in game. Not even five seconds into the game and the Brock gets one shot. I could have maybe lived there, but I know we're losing this round. Round two, the dick decides that it looked like fun and he gets one shot as well. I try to kill back, but the smoke's coming in, we have no position, you gotta go for something desperate, and it just doesn't work out. Uh, I, I think if I back off, we're just gonna lose either way, because we have no position. Game two, with everything on the line, the Brock suddenly realizes that his gadget breaks the wall, and it might be a good idea to break the one on our side. He proceeds to get one shot, but this was an improvement for him. I catch the Fang overextending and underestimating the power of my fish. 2v2, but it might as well be 3v2 because I got the double bubble. It doesn't matter what brawler I go if people are playing this. Oh my god, I'm so good at this brawler, like it's disgusting. Okay. Surely! I bait out the return to sender and secure the fish 1v3. Like, surely I don't have to 1v3 on the fish on out in the open to win a game! That can't be the math, like I understand I started power like a little late, but like... It should not be like this, guys. I better respect my fish. I know you got- I understand all the target bans now. It's starting to make sense. Look at that. Oh, kill him! The next round, I managed to secure a position for us, and the tick pinches with me. Wait, get them. They're in the corner. You're a tick. Get them in the corner. Oh my god. Alright. I didn't look at my HP enough, but we actually went around. I can't believe we're doing it with the fish again. How does he keep getting away with it, guys? I couldn't tell you. We secure the W and things are looking good. 1-1 one, one going into the final round. An aggressive start and I take the Nani out and get the Fang low. The Brock forgets that he's in the game of Brawl Stars and proceeds to watch me die. Push him out like this. But pinch Brock! Pinch! Brock pinch! Pinch Brock! Mandy overextends while killing me and my teammates will do a good job and pick up a kill on her and then they'll win the 1v2. I was so nervous for that 1v2. I can't believe they pulled that off. But like the tick forgot he's like holding an iPad up. Oh my god, it's over. Oh my- Thank you guys, I love you so much. Good with the goats. I'll never doubt you again. I don't know how we survive. No, you need the- if that's low-key, the only way we don't die to the Fang Super, he needs to just hold it. Round two, and the Brock tries to break his world record of dying the fastest in the knockout round. I gotta go for something crazy again. Look, oh my god, this tick is ticking, bro. <sighs> what, what are you gadget? Do you know what you do your gadget? Like, what your gadget's for? Please don't feed the Fang. Now, nah, like, bro looks like he's severely lagging, I hope, but I don't know how we deal with the Fang once again. They're just gonna die in two seconds. It's all on the final round. I chunk the Fang out, and he overextends for me. My teammates manage to clean up the kill. It starts to get really scrappy, but ends up in a 1v1 versus the Mandy for all the elo. Alright, we're doing it, we're doing it, we're doing it. Please, nobody die. He's out of return to senders. I said nobody die. Loki, the tick's kind of been ticking a bit. Oh my god, he's won. Where's the tick? The tick died? It's on me. 
I wish I got to regen there. Oh, he's trolling. Alright. He gets me to one shot with the gadget, but it's not enough. I have position, and I managed to hit a nice shot on him. And again, on a win, bro. How did I not get MVP, though? We secure the victory, ending the video with three wins, two losses, 27 target bans, and 14 dodges. This was the most painful brawler only video I've ever done. Is it really that hard for me to just play some cowfish in Power League? That is going to be it for today's video, guys. Once again, please remember to like, subscribe, comment, and use code OG. If you guys like this video, I suggest you watch one of these videos suggested beneath. Thanks, guys.